currently in the smoking area real quick for my sister. But it is my mom's birthday. So happy birthday to my mom. She's officially 32, doesn't look a day over 21. <laughs> She's gonna be 32 for the rest of her life. From here on out. <laughs> From here, there's no other age besides 32. And there is my other sister, Allie and Jenny. We are off to Magic Kingdom Park. We are going to be eating at Be Our Guest for dinner tonight for my mom. What are some things you have you have to do? Have to do. Have to do, huh? Or like really want to do? Really want to do? Any foods you want to eat? Well, I definitely love going into the confectioner. I love seeing them make their candy. Yeah. I do always love that. And I always usually love to ride Pirates and Jungle Cruise. Like those are two that I like the most. Okay. Spoiler alert. We didn't get to do either of those rides. We are the worst kids. But actually most of the rides there, I like the Peter Pan flight. Okay. Even the people move, we still love the people move. Like I said, the only ride I never rode in all the years I've ever been is Astro Horror. Yeah, maybe so eventually I'll get on that. <laughs> maybe eventually. That's like the only ride we've never done. Um, right now it's about, I would say, 70 degrees? Would you say? It's 70 just the high is supposed to be 75. 70. Okay, so high is supposed to be 75 and sunny. It said it was going to rain all week, so we prepared for it said possible rain. Complete sun. So that's good that we're going to get all nice weather today. Thank God, at least one day. Yeah, right, at least one of these at least days. One of these who knows? What, maybe it'll yesterday continue. Wasn't even that no. no, yesterday was Thank that God. Bad. It but rained only like a little bit yesterday. The rain sucks though. Yeah. It does. Nobody wants to be in the rain. The rain is, is garbage. <laughs> but so the safety measures, if you guys want to know, uh, on the buses, because I didn't really touch base on that, is they load you from the back of the bus to the front and he, they basically ask you, okay, how many is in your party? And they have dividers set up so you're not really next to anyone. Anything you didn't care for that they did? Well, the only thing, issue I found was in, with the Frozen ride. Oh, I, yeah. I understand that they have to do these things, but I found that the, the plexiglass... Plexi it wasn't was, so clean. It wasn't. It was wet. It was very hard to see the ride looking forward. And, and part of the ride, you really need to look straight. Yeah. And I found it kind of diminished a little bit, especially if you were first Unless time you're going in the front. on it. Yeah. Unless well, you're in the front. Unless you're in the front. Unless you're in the front. Unless you're in the front. I had never been on Frozen. And it's such a beautiful ride. ride, and you really it couldn't was get nice, the whole but, experience, yeah. because like I said, you... Yeah, this thing in front of you. The glass, the plexiglass. And I understand that, so they put more people on. Of course. On. You know, yeah, the glass is wet, so they see Yeah, but I, I actually feel sorry for people who didn't get a chance to well, experience it. A chance to experience it without, without the plexiglass. Which I'm sure they'll get rid of the plexiglass dividers at some point when, when they can, when the restrictions are lifted a little bit. Enough people get vaccinated. Yeah, I would assume. I think they understand it probably takes away from the show a little bit, but it's it's a safety measure that they have to put in place at least to be able to operate and be open. No. And, the, and the lines are great because the, they do have markers on the ground and they have cast members. And the lines seem very long, but they're not. We waited for, I think, like 30 minutes on Frozen. It wasn't, it was 20 it was, minutes. Oh, my mom, my From mom, start uh, to finish. my mom, what you'll call it, it time the line, yeah. the actual line, st we started in the China exhibit. Yeah, so the China pavilion. The, the queue in the China exhibit all the way into the, so it seemed like it was insane. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it, the, the line seemed really long and I think that's a thing a lot of people are concerned about is they're like, oh, the lines are really long, but they're really not when you actually take it into perspective and time it. We were only online for 30 minutes. It was in and out basically. One of the things that I, I appreciated was since the lines were going through different areas, I was able to see things that I may have not noticed. Yeah, because you were just waiting. to get onto the ride. Mm -hmm. you know, so that was nice. There, you know, like I said, I never noticed in the Norway exhibit that little waterfall. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Some of the, the buildings and how beautiful some of the areas are. So it was a nice little, a nice little touch being able to go further back and being able to just wait for a little bit and look around and actually take time to just enjoy the area. So that was nice. Yesterday we ate at Chef's Art Smith's Homecoming, which I didn't film. I didn't pull out my camera. I just got lazy. Oh my God! Shout out to that waiter, Todd. Todd. Todd, Todd was his name. Excellent. We had such an excellent experience. Uh, food was great. Yeah. Oh my God! Those fried green tomatoes were over the top. Amazing. Really, like Go there, I, try them. I honestly and truly that just capped off the night. It was yeah. Just so, so good. Delicious. We ate so much at Epcot that we didn't really like eat our like actual meals, which is sad because the food was so good. We took it back. I had the chicken biscuits. Like yes. Oh my god, so good with the hot honey, and it's not spicy. So if you don't like spices, it was so good. They had the deviled eggs, which you guys like the deviled eggs. 
Oh, I like the devil eggs. Yeah, they were really good. Honestly, the food was just really good in general, and Todd was amazing. If you have an and opportunity, they're very attentive. If you have any allergies, yes. The the waiter, uh, the manager came over and asked us about allergies. My mom has a gluten intolerance, and so does my sister. And they asked us a bunch of questions to figure out what it was, and then after that happened we ended up ordering things with gluten in it and they came back over and they're like hey like are you sure you want to order this we noted we noted that you do have an intolerance the people in the, the, the back were like they're ordering things with gluten are you sure they want this so they were very on top of it which was great just checking in on us if you have an opportunity to go to that restaurant request Todd he was awesome by far one of the best ex like waiting experiences we've had here and we we come all the time you know so yeah he was great so shout out to you Todd if you're watching which you're probably not because I only have 55 subscribers and five of them are here <laughs> so we'll see you in Magic Kingdom so we're kicking Jenny and Nick out because only four people can be in the, in the elevator at once or one family just, just a heads up I really like that it has like the little sky track to the monorail and we have a beautiful view so we've noticed every single time we try to get up early, it never happens. We get up early and then it takes us forever to get ready. <laughs> you getting a train set, Nick? Well, I came the last time that I had a little toy train around the Christmas tree. Yeah, I would have a train set. Like when we were growing up, we had like a Christmas, like a, like a train set. And every couple of years we would play around the tree. You know, the last time I did that. I'm hungry. I am hungry. Some, oh yeah, corn dog nuggets. That sounds like a plan. Casey's corner. They were closed. Look how cute her fit is. She's got these really cute black and white ears. She's got a really cute Minnie Mouse and Mickey shirt. They look like they're dressed in the 90s. Oh, and Donald's there too. Um, okay, cool thing about this made. shirt is it's actually made out of recycled water bottles. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and most of them are from the parks. Oh. Yeah. They're trying cool. to reduce plastic. The store has the billboard. Oh. Yeah. That's and then she's got some cute little shorts on and some feelers. Look at her with her feelers. Yeah. And then we got Jenny's O O T D, the ooh ta da. Ooh -ta -da. <laughs> the ooh ta da. The outfit of the day. She's got a cute little Winnie the Pooh shirt on with some cargo nice. shorts. Okay. Why not? And then some crap. The that are in relax mode. Oh. Never sports mode. Uh, never okay. sports mode. Always relax mode. <laughs> Always relax mode. <laughs> so we just got our temperature check. So it goes really well. It's easy. We brought a thermometer um, just so we can test ourselves in the hotel as well. Just because we don't want to all of a sudden go to the park and then be embarrassed if, God forbid, we are running over the fever amount. I mean, we're, we're good right now. So we're all healthy. Hope, and, you know, we're going to stay healthy. Continue to physical distance and wash your hands. Use your hand sanitizer. I've got a little hand sanitizer on my belt here. Just with me at all moments. Cast members have been really friendly too. I know a lot of people are complaining that cast members have kind of like lost their magic, but I have not experienced it. Uh, all the cast members have been really great. Haven't had any problems. So yeah. We enjoying our time? What? Are we enjoying our time? Yes. Good. What about you? Oh, I'm having a great time. Having a great time? Good. <laughs> we just forgot to guess the monorail, um, but it's gold, so my mom cheated. She was like, it's gold. I'm like, you're a cheater. She's a cheater. So the way that they have the monorail set up, they have a cast member once again asking you how many are your party, and then you just go in and tell them how many are your party. And then they have a divider there, so in between the two monorail cars, they have a divider to help with physical distance, so you don't feel like someone's on top of you. And it's one family per car, which is great. So I can see that being a possible problem during around peak season. It's we're still at half, like 30% capacity anyway, so I don't ever see them getting too too crazy. Lauren, we didn't show off your fit. Your what? Your fit. Oh, gotta do an ooh to da. Oh wait. Por favor, mantenga en pie alejado de las puertas. Okay, now you can go. Okay, so we got the really cute mask from Shop Disney. We also have this really cute shirt. Where did you get this? Fox Lunch. Fox Lunch. Okay, so let's keep your chin up. Someday there will be happiness again, and it's a Robert Cavendish shirt. I am a. Uh, 
Your necklaces yeah. from Shop Disney. Oh, okay, what do they have on? Uh, just one has a little, like a little Mickey head, and the other is like my initial. Oh, okay. The Mickey head. Then we have some jeans. Where'd you get these jeans? Uh, they fit nice. American Eagle. Okay, American Eagle always has some good jeans. And some cute little red shoes to match with the red feather on the her shirt. Numbers. But um, this is from uh, Sly Bonsai. Oh, what's that? Sly Bonsai is a little Etsy shop. She's an independent uh, small business. She makes this really nice, like, uh, pin backpack. That's really cool. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it carries a lot, and it's carrying her really nice little array of pins in there. Got some Dapper Dams. We have the Minnie Mouse here. We have the castle, the carousel, and my mom set that one up because it's her birthday. And she gets to do whatever she wants on her birthday. <laughs> you don't want to do a male OOTD outfit of the day? The ooh ta da? There is no ooh ta da. I'm wearing a t shirt, shorts, and nights. That's the ooh ta da. I got an ooh ta da. My fit is cute. My fit is cute. So we just got off the monorail. We're heading into the park. It's, yeah, it's nice and warm out today. Um, I don't mind wearing jeans in this weather. I say though, these are the most comfortable shoes I've worn today. He didn't want to give you an OOTD, but starts talking about how comfortable his shoes are. You ain't slick. seeing the new paint job of the castle. I absolutely adore the pink. I think it looks so pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't care what it says. I like that color. You like the color? I like it. It looks good. What about you, Ma? I like it. It's very, very uh, magical. I like it. It does. It, does. Yeah. it looks very whimsical. Yeah, yes. Perfect. I feel like a lot of people are worried because it, it's not the it's same. Not the original. Which I understand, but well, nothing. I don't know. I think it is. I it's love it, and I think it exactly. I think it stands out more, oh, and sure. also we, we gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get sun washed anyway. So as time goes on, the, the castle's gonna, gonna fade out. out. Exactly, it's gonna come past out. What's that? Plain black hat. Uh, no, babe, I'm not wearing blue. Why not? <laughs> look how cute ears. you look. I wear a hat, but I'm not gonna wear ears. Look. Isn't it cute? So as you guys know, they're doing away with the free magic bands, but they do have a nice selection of magic bands here. Um, oh, so nice. I love this Bo Peep one down here. It's so cute. It's very similar to the Millennial Pink one, but it has Bo Peep, and then it says, hanging with my peeps. <laughs> That's cute. I also love this one. Um, so cute. It's got the Pixar ball on it. And then these ones are supposedly really popular right now. They are so glittery and so cute. I love this peach one. I may get this one. Who knows? Who knows if I'm feeling fancy, I'll get one, but I don't know if I'm feeling fancy enough. Connoisseur, I guess you could say. But oh my god, this is a fanny pack. Like, I don't need it, but like, do I need it? I think I do. <laughs> I'm gonna have to contemplate getting him because that is too cute. Oh, these are so cute. So these are the Big Feet Flush. Um, and they have a Judy Hopps one as well as a uh, Nick Wilde. I love that. And of course, they have your standard characters like Angel and Stitch. And oh, they also have a Pua Bigfoot plush. So cute. I am a huge pin fan. I'm thinking this one's really cute. This one's new. I haven't had anything from this pack. Um, we also have a Star Wars one. Uh, it's like a, oh, we have a Haunted Mansion one. Oh, but it doesn't say what's in it. 
Oh, it does. It's on the side. I'm going to have to get one of these because I'm a big Haunted Mansion fan. And then we have this one, which is super cute too. It's got Sully on it. They have an Incredibles mystery pin set. This one's new. This happiness one is new. Oh, that one's cute. So that one's really cute. And then we also have, I think this one's new. Yeah, this one's new too. Those ones are super cute. And they have a cute little Marvel pack at the bottom there. See anything you guys like? Yeah, I'm looking for Princess Tiana. Okay. Oh, this is a nice haunted mansion one. I really like that one. I like that one too. It is a tradition for Nick and I to always, anytime we come to the park, to get a pin of Carl and Riley, and I let him pick it out. So he gets me a pin and he picks it out and it's sentimental. That, oh my god, this fan is super cute. She just bought it. It says spill it and it's got the Mad Hatter on it with the teapot. Worked. They had a Haunted Mansion one too. They did? Yeah. Oh. Just like your Open fans. it. Do the, do the flip. Do the flippy. Gotta hear that. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. Oh, I love that sound. On that note. Until next time, my friends. Remember to like, subscribe, and thank the Phoenicians.